please join us for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Nance Eagles. My name is Kinsley. And my name is Paisley. Welcome, Welcome to today's edition, edition of Nance News. News. Today is Friday, February 18th. It's, it's going, going to be, be a fantastic Friday here at Nance. Nance. We have two birthdays today, Raylan in third grade and Jeremiah in second grade. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Here are your lunch choices for today. Pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, and as always, some butter and jelly sandwich. Today is no one... Today is National No One Eats Alone Day. That means every student in every lunchroom across the country will be eating with someone else. Students have taken up the charge to see to it that they invite other students to join them. They are making room. Filling empty seats or filling tables that were once occupied by only one student. They're starting conversations, closing the divide, and sitting with others. And they're getting to know of people across the table. No matter their differences, no matter what, no one eats alone. Here at Nance, we can also extend that to recess time and make sure that no one plays alone. Invite others to play with you at recess. How are you doing with the kindness bingo? We're still looking for classes who have completed their entire bingo boards to put their picture on the kindness wall of fame. Fourth and fifth graders, if you are interested in robotics, don't forget to get a permission slip from Miss Scott. Today for Black History Month, we are going to learn about Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison was the first African American woman to become an astronaut. She was a part of the crew of the space shuttle Endeavour, which orbited Earth for more than a week in 1992. Jemison graduated from high school at age 16. She then received a, a scholarship to attend Stanford University in California. She graduated there in 1977 with a, chem with a degree in chemical engineering. After retiring from NASA in 1993, Jemison founded her own company, the Jemison Group. The, Je the company created new technologies, new technologies, especially to help developing countries. Jemison also created an international science camp for teenagers. If you want to learn more about Mae Jemison, we have some books in the library. Have a great day and a great weekend, Ants Eagles. Don't forget that Monday is a student holiday. We'll see you all on Tuesday. Bye! Bye.